Oh, well, right here. We're gonna do this uh, like casual. That's it. All right. I'll try my best. Should have taken the lead. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Doug, Vic, Kid Power Sports. We got Keegan Bacara, number 899. Did some racing this past weekend. Or tried to. So, uh, Keegan had a pretty rough one this past weekend. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's start over. Apparently, you brought your good luck to the shop today. So, uh, Friday night. This was... Sport light. Sport light final. Yeah. So obviously done well up to that point. You were front row also, right? Yep. Okay. On the way outside. So run us through what happened in that so one. So I kind of like had like I don't know, decent out of the hole, and then had, that was really smooth through the first two of the three doubles. Kind of next to me, kind of came towards me a little yeah. bit, and just enough to throw it off yeah and then I go down and then I'm trying to get back up and look over the hill and there's a snowmobile in me so watching it on so that's I mean obviously this all happened extremely fast Very you probably pretty much hey I'm off the sled and then straight to I'm getting back on the sled type thing like you even remember like a sled hitting you in the middle I, I felt it yeah <laughs> I imagine so looking, this was the one race that I watched Friday, live stream, it's pretty much you come over the hill, fall off, well, bumped off, fall off, however you want to word it, stand up, turn around, and catch a snowmobile, and Basically. then right back down to the ground. Uh, and then it looked like another one came up over and hit your sled pretty good. I didn't see that one, but there's evidence. And that's all I knew at that time. So I thought you were getting stretchered out of there. Like, meanwhile... You're trying to get back on your sled to continue this race. I tried. Well, at first, I got back on, and they, one of the flaggers told me that I couldn't go back out. Gotcha. Which probably is, a good thing, though. Yeah, that was probably a good thing. So you went to medical, hung yeah. out there for a little while, got, got checked lives. out. How long have you been playing football? Just as long as I've been racing, like 10 years. Yeah, so obviously, I mean... Your body's used to getting hit a little bit. You know, I, I think, think that played. Brian Peterson, I don't think he could have taken that same hit. So this is your helmet. This thing. That's over with. That's why you get a nice, good helmet. Is this, this if I remember correctly, this isn't your regular helmet either, it's right? Because somebody forgot their helmet at home. <laughs> is that what happened? Was. Yeah. Not, that's not racer problem. That's like pit crew problem. Yeah, let's blame him. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pit crew problem. So you get there. So where did this helmet come from? Mike Burba. Gotcha. And then we had to do some design on it. Yeah, I see that. Some orange in there. Make sure you got the uh, proper amount of orange load. Now do you do you old Burba helmet? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Probably. Jersey's all goofed. Your tech vest worked. Yeah, apparently it's like ripped or something. But yeah, it worked. Well, that's good. Why you stay safe and wear protective gear. And we got a brand new jersey. Nice. First day wearing it. Oh, that's great. And it's got a hole in the back of it and marks down the side. Well, at least you got a good story for it. Cool. What's going on this coming weekend? Uh, if we get the sled back together, we'll be in Turtle Lake for GNSS. Nice. That's and, crazy. Uh, I was telling you earlier about the plaque, which I'm kind of excited about. Yeah. I would be on the plaque. That's cool. So hopefully we make it. Nice. That'll be exciting. Cool. Well, I'm glad you're all right. That's, that's snow cross right there. Some craziness. Nope.